Welcome to 10 Minute Teach with Mr. A. In this video, we're going to be using short division to divide a four digit number by a one digit number. Okay, let's get into it. What I recommend doing at this point is pausing the video and writing these calculations down, maybe even having a go at them first and then checking your working against mine. Okay, so we've got three examples to have a go at. So our first one is 4,808 divided by four. And what we're trying to do is split 4,808 into four equal pieces. And the way to do that with short division is to put it into a bus stop. So 4,808. So that's the number I'm dividing. And what I'm dividing by is four. So I'm gonna put that just on the outside. And now the easiest way to think of this is to think, well, how many of what I'm dividing by fit into the number I'm trying to divide? Now, most calculations start over at the ones digit. However, with this type of calculation, short division, we always start over at the largest part of the number. So that's the 4,000. So how many fours can I fit in four? Well, it's one. How many fours can I fit into an eight? Well, two fours are eight. How many fours can I fit in a zero? Well, I can't fit any. And if that happens, you actually just write a zero in there. And then I've got nothing to carry over to my next number. So fours into eight is two. So my answer is 1,202. Okay, so my next example is 3,525 divided by five. So trying to split that number into five equal pieces. So we'll do exactly the same thing again. There we go, 3,525 divided by five. Right, this time, I can't fit any fives inside my three, so I put my zero, like I did in the last example, but the whole of that three moves over to my next number to make 35. So I do how many fives in 35? Well, it's seven, seven fives are 35, and I've got nothing to carry to my next number. How many fives can I fit in a two? Well, I can't fit any, so I put a zero there and that two moves over to my next number. And then how many fives in 25? Well, that is five. So that one fits exactly. So 3,525 split into five equal pieces is 705. Now then our final example. So we're going to do our bus stop again. 6,227 divided by eight, so split into eight equal pieces. So we start again. So how many eights can I fit into a six? Well, I can't fit any. So my six moves over to make 62. And then I think, well, how many eights can I fit into 62? Well, eight times eight is 64. So it must be seven times eight, seven whole ones. So I'm at 56 and then I need to get to 62. So there's another six that I need to move over. And it just so happens that I've got 62 again. So I can fit seven whole ones and move six over to the next number. And how many eights in 67? Well, eight eights are 64. So I can fit eight whole ones on, but this time I've got some left over and nothing else to divide by. So the remainder that I've got so from 64 to 67 is three. So remainder three. And that's how we write it in there. If you've got any that are left over. If this video has helped you today, then please consider checking out my other videos. Maybe leave a comment for any that you'd like me to do in future. And also maybe a little subscribe as well. Until next time, guys. Goodbye.